Hi guys, Obi Dave Fair. And I am Ash. Together, we are Obi Dave and I am Ash. Yeah. It is true. That's what I say now. <laughs> I mean. It's just, just new, you know. What? I mean, yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> right. Hopefully, we're able to release this on YouTube. Yes. We have had issues with specifically uh, Headbanger. The, yes. uh, what's the version? It's the version where it was one of their birthdays and she hands the microphone I over know. to her. I can't, like Mal version or something like remember. that? I think it was the Mal version. I can't remember. Apologies if I'm getting that wrong. Yeah. Um, which I've sort of stated in the past, baby metal, me being a metalhead, not massively my thing. Um, but that song in particular, Headbanger, and the live version of it, I thought was absolutely epic. Yeah, it's amazing. Both I, thought, I absolutely adore anime. I'm not really into metal, but the mix yeah. just works so beautifully. Yeah. Um, so on Patreon, the link is in the description. You know, it's like th- $3 or something. I don't think it's much. I can't no. remember what it's set at. But we have the live version of Headbanger over there. And like I say, I actually really enjoyed it. I appreciate what they do. You know, they're huge, they're, they're great at what they do, yeah. really entertaining. But obviously growing up a metalhead, I'm a bit more like angry, edgy sort of metal. Yeah. And they're not very angry baby metal. From what I gather, I've not heard many, <laughs> I've not heard any angry baby metal songs. I no, think. I get that. But whereas Musically, I love it, like chocolate has been, Gimme Chocolate has been one of my favourites so far. Yeah. I love it. It's it's just, it reminds me so much of anime. It's very kawaii sort of metal, isn't it? Yeah, which, I mean, you have loved anime for years anyway, haven't you? So that sort of thing. Well, yeah, it, since I was a kid, like when um, the sci-fi channel was sci-fi instead of skifi, whatever they call it now, and uh, it used to come on at midnight when anime used to be played and I used to sneak out of bed to go and sit and watch anime. Wow. <laughs> Uh, right then, and this is also featuring Tim Henson and Scott Lepage from Polyphia. Ooh, we so, like Polyphia. I mean, the the last baby metal collab we saw was with Electric Cowboy, and it was absolutely yeah, insane. Great. Like for me, that's what baby metal should be doing. Not that I'm telling them what to do because they know better than me. Yes, but the fun party thing that of Electric good. Cowboy Appreciate with baby metal me. works. Yeah. Just works, doesn't it? It does. It really does. I still want to call um Polyphia Polyphia. <laughs> Polyphia. Uh right then, we're gonna do it. Baby Metal, brand new day featuring Tim Tim Henson and Scott Lepage Let's do it. from Polyphia. Let's do it. I do. <laughs> What's live? Nice.
it's going to so, be hard to find a poise. That, it, it, I must, I will admit, the beginning, the intro, I wasn't sure at first, but then when it kicked in, it is really good. It's good fun. It sounds like more of like a chill kind of music, like something I'd have like if I'm sat crocheting. It's a bit more of a ballad, yeah, isn't it? Mm. Which kind of makes sense because Polyphia aren't the heaviest band no. in the world, but they're just technically brilliant, aren't they? They're unbelievable. Um, so it kind of makes sense that, you know, the Electric Callboy one would be heavier because they're a yeah. heavier band. Yeah, they are. But it's also fun and more party. Yeah. But yeah, it's obviously a ballad, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Crazy, isn't it? good fun actually like you're right it's definitely more ballady it was a lot more chill that's definitely something i'd have if, like if i'm sat crocheting or you know chilling out on a sunday afternoon that's lovely that do you think that'd be end credits of an anime probably actually it kind of yeah yeah it fits well and i must admit her voice sounded very much on the same lines as the singer who does um, the intro for Demon Slayer. I don't know if they're the same singer. Obviously, I've never looked into it. I've but no idea. Y- you don't watch um, uh, Demon Slayer anyway, so... Oh, there's another episode out. Anyway. <laughs> well, excited. Uh, sorry. You're supposed to put your hand over your mouth like that when you say that. <laughs> oh, there's another <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. Um, that you don't was... understand anime at all, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, I just know that I had a, a Japanese guy in my class in high school... And uh, every time he laughed, he went like that and covered his mouth. That's so cute. Because it was, he was a proper nerd as well. Yeah. But he's a nice guy. But it was obviously, I think, to show your teeth, maybe could I be disrespectful know. or I, I don't know. or something. So I, literally every time he go like that. I don't know, but you know that all most anime characters, well, the cats. Mo- yeah, based on cats. Yeah. It's because they're cute. Cats and something else. So Phoebe asked me the other day, what what is. Or was it Oscar? What's cute? Like, what makes something cute? And I was like, actually, scientists have done studies yeah. on it, and it's to do with 
Um, distances of eyes, the yeah, shape distances of the nose. Of eyes, it's and uh, sym- symmetry yeah. of the face. Yeah. And then that's why you know they based anime on cats, but then the eyes are bigger. Well. And, 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 and pandas, sort of, red pandas, I think as yeah. well. Yeah. I saw a picture of uh, someone did pandas without the black eyes the other day. Oh and no! And then look, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Google it. No, it's I don't so want to know. Um, I I enjoyed that. Um, they're on a bit of a rampage, obviously collaborating yeah, with people. Yeah, they're doing great. They've done a song with "Bring Me the Horizon" as well, which oh, nice. we've, we've not reacted to. Maybe we'll get on that one yeah. next. Um, now, either Tim Henson is the fastest costume changer in the world, or that was across multiple performances as well. It's quite possible because he went from a long sleeve t shirt to a vest a yeah. couple of times. Yeah, it's obviously um, filmed over like like saying a couple of. They it. must have toured together. Yeah. I presume. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I enjoyed that though. That was that was decent, different. Yeah. More ballady, less in your face and happy, which yeah. kind of makes it a bit more up my street. I get that. Which I like. I liked so, it. There you go. Right then, make sure you like and subscribe as always, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys.